six tall. He fights out of Gracie Barra, Darby and Phil Strong. Darby, Daniel, Rian. And his opponent, coming out of the red corner, weighing in at 77.2. He's 24, stands 5 at 9. He fights out of Charles Martin, Martial Arts and Hills from Doncaster, Adrian Polassa. Your referee, Mr. Paul Preston. Here we go. Welterweight competition here at Almighty Fighting Championship 16. Adi Colassa making his debut, fighting out of the red corner in the black venom trunks as he takes on Gracie Barr at Darby's. Daniel Ramos, 1-0 for Rams. Debut for Colasa. And I was lucky enough to uh, catch Daniel Ram's debut on the last AFC. And uh, he's a guy that does not lack confidence at all. He was dancing all night, he was dancing before, during and after, and he soaked it all up. And as you can see here on the front foot, just dishing out a little bit of punch, uh, a punishment, and Colasa's having to really kind of figure this one out, you know, trial by fire and all that. Absolutely, there is certainly... Oh, Colasa comes forward with a right hand, flurry, and gets the takedown. Now, is this smart against someone like Daniel Rams? Well, As he's well-versed on the ground. Again, at Gracie Bar <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu, you would suggest he's used to spending a bit of time here. Yeah, and in his last fight, he looked strong on the ground as well. He didn't... He was one of those. He didn't do much, but he didn't put too much wrong either, and uh, he took the win. Right now, he's... All that he's given up is top position. I mean, seconds ticking away, but... And you can see him just keeping up on those hips with his guard, his rams, and uh, just controlling his opponent. He's got um, what's looking like double double overhooks on his arms. And Colas is just having to clear those grips. And, you know, that can be draining itself. When you're on the ground, you know that you're, you know, a couple of movements away from getting what you want, but you're just constantly clearing grips. Again, stacking himself up, trying to get the posture as Colasa there, and but Rams just like an octopus sticking to him, yeah. wrapping him up, tying yeah. him down. And I think in today's game, oh, wow. okay, he's. I can't really see from this vantage point whether he's landing. Uh, that right hand landed. A couple of them landed for sure, and it's open Rams guard. And again, that two-on-one control. Oh, he's got the... He's, now, this could turn into a nice flower slow sweep if he can get the hand rams, but he's let it go. He's climbing for the triangle. Oh, and rams wise to that. Colas has got some nice top position here, but you can see Rams is a tricky customer. And look at him just climbing for that guillotine. He's got the leg up on the, on the left-hand side to make sure he doesn't pass his guard. Oh, but speaking of that, <laughs> steps over. A rep peels off the iron. Now he's got. Oh, oh sometimes. Oh, he's got him caught up in a triangle. Rams is trying to push his way out, and the triangle's not, not quite on. on. Ten seconds left. He's covering his face. He could transition to an armbar. He's side on here. But he probably likes that triangle choke a lot, so. What well, a round. Again, a little bit of everything. The, the debutant uh, taking it to the, uh, you know. That's, I, I, the, the, the Rams looked like he was going to set the pace for this. Yeah, he looked strong, confident, calm. But uh, Colossa, nice. G gets that take, the secures yeah. top position, stays busy. Yeah, and I think he just got sick of being on his back foot. You know, he's a local lad. Yep. He were on the back foot, Rams were having his way, not doing too much in the way of damage, but definitely keeping his man, you know, honest. And Colasa just like, no, came fo forward off that right hand blitz into the takedown. Well, I gotta say something about Rams as well. We've no I, we noticed it tonight when his teammate came out. Man, did they bring some oh. they brought some support with them. Yes, the, they always do. I mean the easy 150, 100 and 75 people have come up for Gracie Barr, if not more, and I'm wondering if that almost gives Rams that, that hometown. Yeah, I mean, Rams can't feel like he's fighting away from home now, not in there. 
everybody's come to see Rams tonight, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, well, it sounds that way, the decibel level went up, but Rams returns with a nice switch head kick. I mean, he's throwing everything yeah. like he wants to kill it. That's now. it, now he wants to end it. Colasa jumps on a leg but falls to his back. Rams just stepping over to yeah. half guard. And I'm wondering if he's going to pull the old couture. Clamp down on the half yeah. guard, start raining some shots That's in. it. Against the fence, if you sit on the hip, they're going nowhere. I see, see, you say Couture, I say Sarah. Ah. Well, you see. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a difference in our ages, is, I think. Yeah. I mean, Couture probably did it a lot better, but, you know. He's stand heavy on top now. The Gracie Barr Derby man steps over. Oh, and just like that, the roles have reversed, and we've got a mount for Daniel Rams. And he's got a little more time to work with. Yeah, he does. Than Colasa had. And we'll see what he can do here. Colasa uh, ran smart, pulling him out away, pulling those legs yep. away from the cage. Yep, and Colasa right now not offering much in the way of defense except for holding on and break and keeping his posture down. Which when you've got a guy stat like Rams on top of you, you know. He gives Bro. up his back, Rams is away to it. That hook just slid in yep. like a hot knife in butter. Yeah, only one hook in. And you can see him just trying to drag him over a little bit onto that hook side so it's yep. a bit more dominant. Oh, and it, that, look looks, that looks like it's, it's on the chin, but he's got those, he's got those arteries. Uh, he just uses it to sweep back under the top position again. That's it. Not to sound too repetitive, but if you come from a jiu-jitsu gym, you know when something's on or off. And again, gets the hooks in. Oh yeah, I think oh, that's on. Oh, that looks, that looks deep. It's clasped up and he's fighting that top hand. He didn't quite, Rams didn't get that left hand behind the head, but he's reset. Kalas is turning in. That's bought him a bit of yep. oxygen and he's looking to hit Rams over onto his Good back. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, just that little head placement there, turning your head sideways. Yeah, you've got one of those arteries, but it gives you a little bit of breathing room. One butterfly guard in. Oh, no. Switches it up to the full guard. And do you think that sometimes being specialised in a certain style, it can be a curse? Well, because you get relaxed, because you know you're in that, right? That's that, what I saw from Rams yeah, in the first round. Having, having, having never competed in a cage, I, 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 I'm not sure what goes through your guys' heads when you get in there. I was equally bad at everything, so I just <laughs> went crazy. But, like, you know, if you've got a jiu-jitsu pedigree, you can be like, yeah, I'm in top position. Like, look, absolutely no sweat finishes the round in an over, attacking an over platter. Unreal. You know, it's uh, and, it, and it almost looked effortless. But when you see uh, Kalasa on top, don't get me wrong, he's doing good things and he's, he's, he's probably landed more striking damage from the yep. top. Um, given that first round, but he looks a bit more antsy, a bit more like he's got a bit of fire in his belly. Whereas Rams is just like, yeah, I'm on my back. Yeah, cool, dude. You yeah. move that way. I'm just going to slide this hook in here. And, you know, sometimes it can be a curse. Risky game to play, though, with three-minute rounds as well, yes. because it, the simple fact is you are on bottom. Yeah, it's you a are. Fight. You're not choosing to be there. You're you, you're going to accept it because you're yeah. comfortable there. But you wouldn't choose. No, no, you would never choose that. Um... Yeah, I'll have the full mount, please. That's it, yeah. I'll, I'll take a position where... I'll take the back. The cat in my back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you're right. You're right. You wouldn't choose that. And in a three-minute round, it only takes one or two bad moments to, for that round to go. Yeah. And the fella on top, the fighter on top, yeah. doesn't really have to do all that much work. It's no. the guy on the bottom that's got to improve the position. That so is it, yeah. Be interesting to see how this round goes. Got a, you certainly look like you got a, a thicker, more, more powerful welterweight in Daniel Rams. Yes, definitely. But I just saw him wince a little bit there. Beautiful shot. Well, wow. Wow. Jiu Jitsu guys know how to wrestle. Apparently so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and just pulling, slowly yeah. pulling his man off That's the it. cage, slipping his head out. Just like a snake tightening. Just bit by bit. It's like he's in control of everything he's doing, but you don't really see any panic or urgency from him to get it finished. No. No. Very smooth customer. Yeah. <laughs> nice shot to the body there, looking to try and get a bit of posture. You can see 
Kolasa just looking to scoot his way back to the fence and hope that that gives him something in the way of uh, an escape or... And it does. It does, it does. Now he wants to let go of that head and get his arm underneath Ramsey's face because right now Ramsey's searching for that pinned leg, yep. the one leg on the floor. And I'm not sure what Klaas is going for here, but Rams... So the, yeah, for the... Thought he was looking for a Kamura there, but... Yeah, he looks to try and transition to triangle for the split second, but Rams back on top, squares his hips, and you've got Klaas's head against the fence here. And this could be the, this could be the round that takes it. Absolutely. You know, i, I definitely give Klaas that first round. Rams the second. And, and uh, all, all the play for here. If he, that's keeps, it. if he keeps this top position, it is absolutely all on his opponent to stand up. But can Col Colossa, can he get to his feet again? He's, he's breathing deep right now. I've seen him take a few gasps and uh, he's breathing with his mouth open. Rams is just, he doesn't stop. It's like he doesn't settle and just stay on top. He's constantly pushing into something. Or is he like looking, there. To looking to try and lock those hands together maybe and pull out for a guillotine now i'd have said if it had gone the other way possibly the head and arm mm. given that you're close to the fence anyway maybe if he pops that head out but look at him just dragging back down oh, oh a nice little gator roll and ends up on top hasn't got a finish here though no 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 the arm was out he could have looked for the anaconda as he goes to the das right yeah. now and you're gonna see him either go backwards or roll to his right oh he let go of the das let go didn't feel it was there and has allowed Colasa to stand up. Now Colasa looking for the single. And Colasa looking like he's just going to rip Under his man hips. off the yeah. floor. And Rams manages to roll through with the momentum and take that mount position. And wow, three three-minute rounds there. Man, do they go quick at the Almighty Fighting Championships? They do, they do. Action packed as well. And again, you know, with the team bonus on the line, the Grace Barra coach there raising his man's hand in victory. He's sure he's got it. This is their second out in tonight. Yep. You know, they could have taken it. it well, it, it, should it go the way of the <laughs> the man from Gracie Barra, Daniel Rams? They'll be 2-0 oh in the team competition 2-0, oh, that's it. And this is it. It's banding your team together and getting them to fight for each other because, you know, you get that, you've all got you've all got a ton in your pocket, you that's, know. Absolutely. Well, our MC has stepped into the cage. Quickly thank Wildcats Gentlemen Club for sponsoring Almighty Fighting Championship 16, excess mouth guards. All three judges score this in favor of your winner in the blue corner.